Hey guys, we are in Rome, Italy for this entire month. It's one of my favorite cities in the whole world and mostly because of the food. There's a ton of different things that you can eat here and all of them are so good, but this week we are focusing specifically on the pasta. I'm gonna be taking you to three different places for amazing pasta in Rome this week. I am so excited, let's begin. <laughs> here my name is Brooke and I'm the female foodie and my only goal here is to share restaurant recommendations you can trust because life is too short to eat bad food especially when you're in Italy we are at Da Cesare if I'm saying that correctly I feel like I'm never saying any of these restaurant names right but we are kind of off the beaten path we're not in any of the touristy areas of Rome but we are here for the pasta Whoa. That looks This is the Tonorelli alla Grecia. I've never had this before. It's got some really nice cheese and some pork cheek. And uh, let's give it a shot. It's so packed with flavor. Pasta is cooked perfectly. The pepper has a punch at the end. The pork cheek is really flavorful it's great okay here we have it the reason we came here the bucatini amatrishima it looks it smells amazing oh wow that is really delicious. Here's why I like this. I'm a huge fan of tomatoes, so this has everything you want in like a really tomatoey dish, especially for pasta. But with the peppers in there, I know they have like chili pepper and black pepper in there. There's a little bit of a kick. Mm. The noodles are nice and thick. They're like perfectly al dente. And then that cheese on the top it gives it so much amazing flavor and texture so good really really happy we came to this place today we're eating pasta at alfredo alla scrofa and i'm very excited to be here because this is apparently the place where the original Alfredo was born years and decades ago. So we started off with some caprese, which was great, and then we watched them prepare the Alfredo table side. simple and minimalist, the homemade pasta, parm, butter. There's no heavy cream in it. A lot of times in the States, people will throw like extra cream and lots of added ingredients, but a real Alfredo is like the pasta, the parm, and butter. Lots of butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. It's very simple looking. The noodles, they look very soft, but we'll see how it is. Okay, wow. It's rich like I expected it to be, but I like it even more because, mm. <laughs> it's rich, but that parm, it's kind of almost like the sharpness of the parm hits you. This is honestly like heaven in a bite. This is definitely not a dish you wanna get if you're looking for something light. It's very rich very indulgent. It's interesting because these noodles are way softer than any of the al dente pasta we've had. This is amazing. I would totally eat this again and I think too this is a really great pasta dish for people who are a little like less adventurous. They want something that's kind of like approachable, kind of like Italian comfort food easy. This would be amazing for kids or adults alike and my baby already loves it. <laughs> Okay. 
We are at Roskiole, and this is a restaurant we've wanted to try for a long time. They're really popular here in Rome. They have a lot of different restaurants that are part of the same food for family, but we are at the Santa Maria, and we're trying the pasta today. So we already got the um, burrata, which was amazing. It was really simple, but delicious. They served it with some tomatoes, and it was so good. Now we're trying the pasta. I got the um, carbonara. And Cody got on the channel, so I don't think I can wait any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Alright. That's beautiful. Pasta is perfectly al dente, so it's firm enough to overcook, but it's still soft enough that it tastes like pasta. This is everything you want in a really good carbonara. It's creamy, it's rich. Mm. That's so good. A lot of people say this is the best carbonara in town. I don't know if I feel confident in saying that because we've had a lot of good carbonara, but this is seriously amazing. So I got the Almatruciana. This has become my favorite here in Rome, so I'm going to compare it to some of the other ones that I've already had. Let's see how it tastes. It's really good. Three bites of that, then you get one That's really good. Sauce is perfect. The um, pork cheek, right? Yep. The pork cheek. Crispy. Flavorful. So I've had it with a bucatini and a gnocchi. This is the first time with noodles like this. I probably would say that I like the gnocchi style the best, but this sauce and the um, and the pork cheek I think is the best.